Hello friends, how are you? Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel of uh, Process Engineering uh, Know Hows, how to learn new aspects of process engineering. And this video is all about high sys dynamics, where I am covering the behavior of the control wall and the pipe segment as well as pressure surge in the liquid line. So for the pressure surge, I have I have considered water here, and the idea is to close valve one not one, which is downstream of the pipeline and to understand what is the rise in the pressure actually. So this is uh, not the fully right way of doing it because mostly the flow assurance softwares like Olga or PipeSim or some other dynamic softwares are used to understand the flow assurance as well as dynamic behavior of the pipelines. But for time being, uh, for the making this video is simple and, and also interesting, I have used HiSys Dynamics actually. For the uh, for the illustration purpose, so let's go uh, to the details of uh, of the things which I am going to present here. Before that, please like and subscribe my videos, so that it gives me the driving force to more add more videos, and it also uh, keeps uh, that chain of learning actually. So these videos and tutorials are good for the process engineers who want to understand the fundamentals of the process engineers and I am trying I will try to give more videos based on my 20 years of experience as a process engineer so uh, let's go ahead uh, to understand things how it is like that so if you see the stream I have taken the composition of water and conditions are also basic which is 45 degrees C temperature uh, pressure around 50 bar and the flow rate of 200 kg per per hour let's say like this it is this is the simplistic scenario which i am trying to create here i have added up a, a pipe segment and uh, what it says uh, yeah. so if you see i this is the 110 meter line segment and approx 400 mm uh, um, pipe size which is uh, 16 inches line I know it is big, but uh, it's just an arbitrary value I have taken actually. And uh, there's upstream valve, downstream valve, and there are the control valve. Control valve sizing, you have to see my previous uh, video. It talks about how to size a control valve. And uh, I have kept it linear ones. And the CVCG, you can see it is already sized 100% open valve actually. Right? And I've also introduced one FIC, which is controlling the pressure, uh, which is controlling the flow rate. The set point of 50 meter cube per hour and kc kt kd that you know all these values has been inserted based on the on the uh, on the flow rate of the liquid line actually and it is reverse acting as you can see and uh, if you want i can show you the the face palette as well which gives you what is the auto conditions and what are the the manipulating conditions for this control valve and the second valve i have also sized uh based on your sir, gas uh, sizing maybe you can change to fissure right and you can see this you know c1 c cv value is there and you know percentage opening is also there actually right so this is the complete setup i have been now to dynamic mode and my integrated is stopped if you see my integrator it is at uh, real time with 10 percent uh, with 10 factor uh, of the real time real time you can see here actually yeah so everything looks good strip chart strip chart i have created a strip chart which is at uh, at the pressure of p1 stream actually so how to create a, a strip chart uh is like you know you just click to the strip chart uh, uh this default value uh, can come you can change that one uh this one which comes at a logger size of 300 samples and the sample interval of 20 seconds and when you edit that one, it gives you the value that what variables you wanted to add. So if you click here, uh, uh, you can add uh, this variable manager. You can see this pressure and all, and a string number you can add actually. So strip chart, I will give you some other videos. So I'm not using this one. I have also introduced event scheduler, which I will not discuss now. Uh, I will discuss in the in the separate video actually, right? And uh, strip chart if you see okay one second uh let up logo i'm just 
display my 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 strip chart which is I will make it a dockable once one second so I've created uh, a white background basically and make it dockable once right and make it a bit the center so that you can see properly okay and I will just start running this uh, uh, this indicator and you can see the 50 bar pressure is constant why it is constant let's understand this it's because I have not changed any opening of of the valves everything is in the in a in a constant way no disturbance in the field um, no disturbance in the plant everything is constant actually <coughs> so you can I can show you the table as well which shows what is the percentage opening of one not one valve add variable percentage open add it over there and it's done you can see that uh, it is 50% open your valve is 100% open flow is around uh, 0 0.2 meter cube per hour and uh, here it is mole by mole you can see it is constant actually right so there's no variation in the in the flow rate as long as uh, you know uh, so the pressure upstream based on the resistance in the line is coming around 51 bar so see initially it was there now it is constant at 51 so I will slightly start closing this valve slowly to show you the rise in the pressure see 40 percent and we will see what happens to the pressure maybe not much but you can see a slight increase in the pressure which might not have been picked here because this is just uh, 10 percent closer of the valve let's make it 30 percent right and wait for the uh, uh, the chart to show some disturbances maybe I will increase the, the factor a bit uh, but for that I have to stop the integrator but, but let's keep it timing like this and uh, we will wait for for the disturbance to come Maybe I will just drop closing more. can see 20 percent I have done that I think uh, that is not not the right way of doing that so I have used this because if I go here 20 percent it gives you uh, uh, a sizing ones so I have changed here you can see 20 percent valve opening see the rush surge in the pressure right so make it zero percent not this one from here sorry for that one uh, let's make it zero percent here opening and you can see the surge in the pressure see the pressure has gone to 55 50, uh, 59.49 as the as the valve is closed you can see that 59 I will just make the axis all equal all axis you can see 64 so 69 now so now I will uh, this shows the surge in the pressure this is the motto of this video basically so uh, now I will open the valve to 50% and you see the drop in the pressure from 71 it came down it's coming down to back to 51 bar gauge so 
the idea of this uh, this uh, video is to understand that you know how the surge happens in the pipeline what is the rise in the pressure and the, uh, and as a process engineer you should have to uh, define that whether the psv is required on the line or not required on the line so in case the pressure goes above the the pipe rating of say 150 pound rating because it's 54 it will be around uh, uh, around 600 pounds right so if it is the pressure is above the 600 pounds pipe rating so you have to provide the psv to to safeguard your pipelines otherwise if the pressure rise in the pressure is not much then you can uh, you can feel you can say that okay uh, my uh, psv is not required on the line actually so this is uh, a kind of you know experimental value or you can see the the how the high seas dynamics predicts the rise in the pressure and uh, this video is hopefully this video is useful for us for you to understand that uh, how the surge in the pressure happens actually so with this i will uh, stop this video and hope you have learned more and please like and subscribe my video for more videos like this thank you